Cerebras Systems unveils 1.2 trillion transistor wafer scale processor fry. Modern CPU transistor counts are enormous. AMD announced earlier this month that a full implementation of its 7 nanometers epichrome CPU weighs in at 32 billion transistors. To this, Cerebras Technology says, hold my bear. The iFocused company has designed what it calls a wafer scale engine. The WSE is a square, approximately 8 inches by 9 inches and contains roughly 1.2 trillion transistors. I'm genuinely surprised to see a company bringing a wafer-scale product to market this quickly. The idea of wafer-scale processing has attracted some attention recently as a potential solution to performance scaling difficulties. In the study we discussed earlier this year, researchers evaluated the idea of building an enormous GPU across most or all of a 100 mm wafer. They found that the technique could product viable high-performance processors and that it could also scale effectively to larger node sizes. The Cerebris WSE definitely qualifies as large large, its total surface area is much larger than the hypothetical designs we considered earlier this year. It's not a full-sized 300mm wafer, but it's got a higher surface area than a 200mm does. The largest GPU, Seamazon underscore ET underscore 135C Amazon ET Commerce just for comparison measures 815 square millimeters and packs 21.1b transistors. So the Cerebris WSE is just a bit bigger, as these things go. Some companies send out pictures of their chips held up next to a diminutive common object, like a quarter. Cerebris sent out a photo of their die next to a keyboard. The Cerebris WSE contains 400,000 sparse linear algebra cores, 18 gigabytes of total on-die memory, 9 petabytes per second worth of memory bandwidth across the chip and separate fabric bandwidth of up to 100 petabits per second the entire chip is built on TSMC 16 nanometers FinFET process. Because the chip is built from, most, of a single wafer, the company has implemented methods of rooting around bad cores on die and can keep its arrays connected even if it has bad cores in a section of the wafer. The company says it has redundant cores implemented on die, though it hasn't discussed specifics yet. Details on the design are being presented at Hot Chips this week. The WSE CPU simply doesn't seem sufficient, is cooled using a massive cold plate sitting above the silicon, with vertically mounted water pipes used for direct cooling. Because there's no traditional package large enough to fit the chip, Cerebris has designed its own. PC World describes it as combining a PCB, the wafer, a custom connector linking the two, and the cold plate. Details on the chip, like its raw performance and power consumption, are not yet available.